Hello everyone. My name is Noah James Gonzalez. Friends and families call me Nonong Gonzalez. A name given to me by my grandpa which I like and a name which established my identity. I invite you together with my mom Angelia, Grandma Nancy, Dita Gian, and my grandpa Jimmy to come travel with me as I journey around the world to see the beautiful places its people and culture, and taste its native delicacies. On this plot of ground stood of old Paul's cross, where at amid such scenes of good and evil as make Dad! What is it? I St. Paul's Cathedral, London, is an Anglican cathedral, the seat of the Bishop of London and the Mother Church of the Diocese of London. It sits on Ludgate Hill at the highest point of the city of London and is a grade one listed building. Its dedication to Paul the Apostles dates back to the original church on the site founded in A.D. 604. The present cathedral, dating from the late 17th century, was designed in the English Baroque style by Sir Christopher Wren. Its construction, completed in Wren's lifetime, was part of a major rebuilding program in the city after the Great Fire of London. The cathedral building largely destroyed in the Great Fire, now often referred to as Old St. Paul's Cathedral, was a central focus for medieval and early modern London, including Paul's Walk and St. Paul's Churchyard, being the site of St. Paul's Cross. The cathedral is one of the most famous and most recognizable sites of London. Its dome, framed by the spires of rain city churches, has dominated the skyline for over 300 years. At 365 feet high, it was the tallest building in London from 1710 to 1967. The dome is among the highest in the world. St. Paul is the second largest church building and area in the United Kingdom after Liverpool Cathedral. <music> Services held at St. Paul's have included the funerals of Admiral Nelson, the Duke of Wellington, Winston Churchill and Margaret Thatcher, Jubilee celebration for Queen Victoria, peace services marking the end of the First and Second World Wars, the wedding of French Charles and Lady Diana Spencer, the launch of the Festival of Britain, and the Thanksgiving services for the silver, golden and diamond jewelries and the 18th and 19th birthdays of Queen Elizabeth II. St. Paul's Cathedral is the central subject of much promotional material as well as an images of the dome surrounded by the smoke and fire of the bleach. The 
cathedral is a working church with hourly prayer and daily services. The tourist entry fee at the door is 20 pounds for adults that is since January 29, 2019. Cheaper online if you buy one. But no charge is made to worshippers. The cathedral survived the bleach, although struck by bombs on October 10, 1940 and April 17, 1941. The first strike destroyed the high altar, while the second strike on the north transept left a hole in the floor above the crypt. The latter bomb is believed to have detonated in the upper interior above the north transept and the force was sufficient to ship the entire dome laterally by a small amount. On September 12, 1940, a time-delayed bomb that had struck the cathedral was successfully diffused and removed by a bomb disposal detachment of Royal Engineers under the command of temporary Lieutenant Robert Davis. Had this bomb detonated, it would have totally destroyed the cathedral. It left a 100-foot crater when later remotely detonated in a secured location. As a result of this action, Davis and Sapper George Cameron Wiley were each awarded the George Cross. Davis George Cross and other medals are on display at the Imperial War Museum, London. One of the best-known images of London during the war was a photograph of St. Paul's taken on December 29, 1940 during the Second Great Fire of London by photographer Herbert Mason from the roof of a building in Tudor Street showing the cathedral shrouded in smoke. Lisa Jardin of Queen Mary, University of London has written, Red and bellowing smoke Amidst the chaos and destruction of war, the pale dome stands proud and glorious, indomitable at the height of that air raid. Sir Winston Churchill telephoned the guide hall to insist that all far fighting resources be directed at St. Paul's. The cathedral must be saved, he said. Damage to the public would sap the morale of the country. The Millennium Bridge, officially known as the London Millennium Foot Bridge, is a steel suspension bridge for pedestrians crossing the River Thames in London, linking Bankside with the city of London. It is owned and maintained by Bridge House Estates, a charitable trust overseen by the City of London Corporation. Construction began in 1998 and it initially opened in June 2000. Londoners nicknamed it the Wobbly Bridge after pedestrian experienced an alarming swaying motion on its opening day. The bridge was closed later that day. After two days of limited access, it was closed again for almost two years 
so that modification and repairs could be made to keep the bridge stable and stop the swaying motion. It reopened in February 2002. The bridge is located between South Wark Bridge and Black Friars Railway Bridge. Its southern end is near the Globe Theater, the Bankside Gallery, and the Tate Modern, while its northern end is next to the city of London Skull, below St. Paul's Cathedral, the bridge alignment is such that a clear view, example a terminating vista of the St. Paul's South Facade, is presented from across the river, framed by the bridge supports. here i hope you enjoy our ride don't forget to watch my next episode and please hit the red subscribe button below for it means so much for me until next time thank you so much special thanks to the tamparong of london jabbar mary joy and rapi